Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but we're gonna talk about Dungeons and Dragons in Hasbro stock. According to Barons, according to Barons, Hasbro stock could fumble this year and what is going to save it or potentially save it is Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, it's a damn good thing that Hasbro hasn't done anything lately to screw up Dungeons and Dragons, right? It's a damn good thing that the movie did so well at the box office that it's going to carry them into uh, turning this into a profitable franchise. It's a good thing that they didn't piss off their fan base, uh, causing them to boycott, causing them to turn to the competition. <laughs> you know, it's a damn good thing they're doing everything right with Dungeons and Dragons if that's what they're depending on right now to, to uh, save their stock. So we're going to talk about this before we into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, we have been talking more about tabletop than we have been in months past, years past, because Wizards of the Coast, which is owned by Hasbro, keeps screwing everything up and it's kind of hilarious to watch and also sad. I mean, it's it's the end of an era. Uh, I was a huge tabletop gamer back in the day, loved ad and I used to play second edition more than anything else. I know, I know. But, um, you know, it's, I've, I've watched this this uh, brand, the D&D brand become just that, uh, you know, IP in a portfolio at Hasbro to be exploited, you know, gamers to be exploited, and uh, even worse than that, gamers to be insulted, attacked, uh, the media being called in to um, dunk on old school gamers, especially calling them, you know, racists and bigots and misogynists and all that. And, you know, Hasbro did very, very well with tabletop and with D&D during the pandemic. People were locked in their houses. They were trying D&D. They were watching it on Stranger Things, not realizing that the version of D&D on Stranger Things ad and wasn't the game they were playing, but, you know, but anyway, Hasbro stock has not been in a very, in a very good place, uh, lately. And, uh, it's, it's going to get worse, I think. And it's not just because of Dungeons and Dragons. It's also because their quality, the toy quality has, has dipped out considerably. It's dropped, it's dropped off a cliff. Uh, collectors are not happy with the, the windowed, uh, packaging being taken away. Now they're bringing that back because, you know, um, that recycled plastic film is is doing more damage to the environment than all the uh, Ray Skywalker figures that are clogging up the landfills. Uh, you know, so that made perfect sense. And also just the uh, the toy quality is, is atrocious. I'm seeing all kinds of pictures on the Internet of people with broken Hasbro toys. Um, it, you know, lots of action figures. The hands don't work, especially with D&D. I've seen a lot of the uh, cartoon D and D figures, um, you know, breaking. The hands are falling off, and and you know a lot of the the Hasbro toys now feel like like knockoffs. They feel like Chinese knockoffs. So let's um, let's get into this. But before we get into it, we got two things. Um, one, we kind of stealth launched a comic strip collection on Indiegogo last night. I will put a link in the description. It's called Previously on Clownfish TV. They are. It was actually planned to be a webcomic, and then we never got around to doing it as a webcomic, so we're going to put it into a book collection. These are by Jin Wong. He was actually a fan of ours who was drawing fan comics, and we said, hey, you want to do these comics for us in a more official capacity, and uh, this is the first time they've been seen, actually. It's going to be in book form, so it's a webcomic on, on paper, which makes a lot of sense, I know. Uh, there's going to be a link in the comments, in the descriptions, and also uh, Adventure Engine. Sign up for details about that. We're going to launch it eventually. It's it's nowhere near ready yet, but we are working on our own in-house tabletop RPG engine. And if you're watching this video, I'm assuming... I'm assuming you're into tabletop RPGs or you just want to point and laugh at Hasbro. I, I don't know. So let's all point and laugh at Hasbro. Uh, this is coming from Barron's. Hasbro earnings could be a fumble. D&D &D is a critical catalyst for growth. Well, again, not, not good to be saying that when the movie was a flop, when players are abandoning D&D, &D, when they're making more headlines for pissing off their fans. Uh, here we got Game Rant. The D and D Creator Summit turned into a roast of Wizards of the Coast. They invited a bunch of players, gamers, influencers, 
out to Wizards HQ, and they basically dunked on Wizards uh, most of the time. The OGL controversy, for those of you who don't know, they were basically going to change their licensing agreement, and they were going to be able to effectively take whatever you created uh, for D&D away from you without any compensation, or you had to pay them massive royalties. And uh, that didn't work out very well for them. It led to Pathfinder actually blowing up uh, big time in other game systems as well. And of course, you know, the movie not doing well. So let's see here. Hasbro is expected to report a first quarter loss on April 27th. The long-term performance of the Dungeons and Dragons franchise could be just what the company needs. Okay, then. Wall Street analysts are expecting the toy maker to post a loss of one cent a share on sales of $877 million. That's a major decline from the same period last year when the company posted earnings of $0.57 cents a share on sales of $1.16 billion. During the company's fourth quarter earnings call, Chris Cox, said he's the CEO, said the business was facing a challenging consumer discretionary environment and approximately $300 million in revenue headwinds from exited licenses, brands, and markets, as well as foreign exchange. He's trying to blame the economy on why people aren't buying their shitty toys or uh, dumping more money into D&D, a brand that actively hates a large portion of its player base. That, you know, nice try. And they've said in other interviews, too, that they're, they're effectively trying to turn D&D into... A video game brand. And that's that's not what it is. Those consumer spending headwinds took a toll when the company's 2022 revenue fell 9%. Hasbro has also said it expects a 2023 earnings to be uh, expects its 2023 earnings to be between 445 and 455 a share, and it sees revenue falling by a low single digit percentage this year. I thought D D was gonna save them. The toy maker still has catalyst for growth, and that includes a popular game from the 70s. Dungeons and Dragons, or D&D, was created in 74, not by Hasbro, was acquired by Hasbro in 1999. It's been known by many as a game where fans of fantasy sit around a table and pretend to be wizards and warriors fighting mystical creatures using sets of dice to decipher outcomes. While that is one aspect of the game, D&D has jumped in popularity and gained new recognition in recent years following the premiere of Stranger Things. Again, the version of D&D they're playing on Stranger Things is not the version Hasbro is selling now. It's a very different game. In fact, that version of D&D has been derided by a lot of Hasbro defenders, a lot of the Tumblr crowd. Uh, you have this highly successful streaming phenomenon that all these new kids are watching and thinking, wow, I want to go play that game, said the uh, editor-in-chief of the toy book. And Hasbro has been capitalizing on the success. The film D&D Honor Among Thieves was released on March 31st, as based on the well-known tabletop role-playing game, it was a massive flop. It was a massive flop. They released it less than a week before Mario. Huge mistake, and uh, it's going to be a massive flop for them. Hasbro told investors on its last earnings call that it expects to see the revenue outcome of this film recognized in the third and fourth quarters of this year. Well, it bombed harder than Shazam 2. It was $150 million dollars. Uh, to make and then to market it, we're talking 300 million, and it's nowhere close. I, I think it's basically recouped some of its production costs, and that's about it. And they were hoping this thing was going to be, you know, 500 to 700 million dollar movie, and it's not. It's fallen off a cliff. It came in, I think, sixth or seventh place last weekend, and I'm sure it's farther behind now. It started out pretty okay its first weekend, but uh, everybody who wanted to see this movie already saw this movie. They're not going to make much more money on this on this movie. Some analysts have expressed doubt about the success of the movie. Oh my God, this is just, this must have been written before they published it, including Bank of America Securities analyst Jason Haas. Dungeons and Dragons is also likely to underperform this year. The movie has only grossed only grossed 158 million worldwide in its first three weeks on a reported budget of 150 million. Typically implies 375 to 400 needed to break even. Haas said in a research note on Thursday, the movie has been outshined by the success of Mario. We do not believe it has driven much increased engagement with the game. Um, they said the stock is an underperform with a $42 price target. Hasbro didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. 
Zahn believes that the outcomes of this film, even if not immediately recognized, could bring in success for not only D&D, but for the entire company. No. And they have, uh, they have another Transformers movie coming out this year. Nobody's excited about it. It looks like another Bayformers movie. Nobody's excited about this movie. In fact, the production company that worked on both of these, they're already in the process of selling it. Uh, Hasbro doesn't know what the hell they're doing. They really do not know what the hell they're doing at this point. Hasbro shares down 1.3%. They're going to miss the mark and uh, it's going to get worse for them because they're getting it from all sides. Again, toy collector is not happy. Uh, the price of the toys go up. The quality is way, way down. Uh, Transformers is not going to do that well at the box office. D&D was a flop and the players you had are pissed off. So good luck with that. We're gonna watch this, see what happens, but they just had to lay off like 17% of their staff. They need to get back to just making toys and stop trying to be another Disney, another entertainment conglomerate. It's not gonna happen for them. Just make good games, make good toys, realize that's what you are and be happy with it. Gonna wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants and we'll talk later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.